Let's see, can we get that guy? Oh, headshot! Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to The Crafting Dead. Right now, we're going to announce the winner of the Raider rank on the Dead Island server. And the winner is Humble Heron. The IGN will also be on the screen, so if you recognize that's your IGN, make sure you guys go ahead and hop on the Dead Island server and you will have your Raider rank. So thank you again for all the amazing support everyone has left on the last episode of The Crafting Dead. And we're going to go right on in and hop on into the world. We are going to use a kit and we're going to talk about a few cool things such as the brand new Walking Dead Season 8 trailer. So in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick a kit. Let's get right into this. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys all go ahead and hit that like button. Let's go ahead and see if we can reach 100 likes for today's episode of The Crafting Dead and we are going to go and hit that R spawn and we're going to go and explore. I think we spawn in the same exact area. This looks like it's probably the airport um if i'm not mistaken we could be in the same area as the airport and yes we are so we're gonna be in one heck of a uh spawn just like last episode but like i was talking about it's time to talk about the brand new walking dead season 8 trailer that was released i believe yesterday or two days ago um and uh that's it's, it was awesome trailer if you guys have not seen it there will be a few things i'm going to talk about about the trailer so if you guys want to go ahead and check out the trailer do so and check it out yourselves i'm going to be talking about a few of my opinions and what i've seen um and i think it was a really interesting uh overall trailer definitely more action-packed than i've ever seen the walking dead but it also feels like it's going back in a direction slightly towards how i remember the earlier seasons kind of starting to bring back the whole walking dead vibe because it's been very interesting the past few seasons uh but i feel like right now they're they're, they're bringing back the good vibe uh but it's not going to be easy at first because in the the trailer it was just it started off really like bloody the beginning of the trailer and that for me was quite the the not the shock i was kind of expecting there to be a lot of uh a war uh going on in the the trailer and that's what we saw we saw a lot of the uh saviors and rick's army preparing for war but not just that but actually getting in fights and it was actually really insane. Like, it was crazy. There was a lot of lot of fighting going on, and it really is hyping up the Season 8. I think Season 8 is going to be a big game changer for the actual Walking Dead AMC TV series. And if you guys don't know, I'm a... Oh, can we get this guy with a bow? Okay, wait. I don't even think he heard me with the bow. Let's see. We can't even get a shot. How how accurate is this bow? That's what my question here. All right, let's go after him, guys. But like I was saying, it is really, really all about War the Walking Dead, uh, the recent episode. And let's go see where this guy went. Yeah, there was no way I could fight him. <laughs> there was no way. I I'd barely, I think de the, the Daryl kit is really not the best kit. That was one thing I noticed. There was a lot of uh, preparation for the characters getting ready for war. There were actions with uh, characters getting involved in fights as well. When I noticed, uh, I think it was Morgan and Jesus actually getting in a fight as well, which was really, really interesting to see that. I wonder how Morgan is coping with all this. Because, you know, if you guys don't remember in the past, he was a type of guy that was all about, you know, saving lives even though they're not the friendliest people. But uh, I think it's just all catching up to him and it's just going to hit him uh, and it's just going to be very difficult for him at first. So I think that's one of the main things that might happen. We don't know exactly what Morgan's situation with Jesus was, but there was a fight in the trailer and I wonder if that was just... I mean, we don't even know the situation with Jesus. He could be um, maybe maybe just going against him. I don't know. But there was an issue, I guess, with the Saviors and uh, Rick's group as well. So that was something interesting to see. Um, and talking about that as well, uh, there were a lot of people that were actually captured in the trailer. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I really highly recommend you guys checking it out because you'll get a bigger glimpse into what I'm talking about. But there were a lot of characters that were actually captured that I noticed. One character that I think was Rick actually looked like he was captured. Uh, and it looked like he was in a, I think it was like a cargo container, one of those metal cargo containers. And there were a lot of gun holes in it and, you know, he was looking through it. So... I wonder what that all about was. And, you know, he had nothing on him. I think he was like, he even took out his clothes and he was just nothing. It, it just looked really, really intense. Um, and I don't know if that has to do with uh, whatever happened to him waking up, which is another thing I'm going to talk about uh, towards the end of the trailer. There was a moment where actually Rick 
just just woke up and uh, it looked very similar to season one how he woke up from his coma um, and this time he had a really long beard you know there were flowers it was looking like really bright and it almost felt as in a way that it either could be a flashback it can be uh, not a flashback but a, uh, a foreshadow uh, or something like a dream he may have had it could have been a coma it could have be a jump in time it could be some people were saying that it could be like two years later down the road um, and there's a a big skip in the middle of the season so that's one thing people were talking about it also could be him kind of just waking up after having a messy situation with Negan because in the comics uh, I didn't read all the comics but I know that there was a situation where Rick kind of um, got into a messy situation and uh, wasn't exactly the same so uh, that's one thing that really shocked me the most was just seeing the ending with Rick kind of just in the hospital bed that was a big shock for me uh but going back to negan as well i did notice him he was a lot lot uh you know i think he was really angry throughout the whole whole uh trailer he was very cranky i saw lucille i saw father gabriel in a in a sticky situation with negan as well and lucille so i don't know what the heck was going on with that as well that was something i want to know more about but it does really seem like uh there's just a lot more character um interactions uh with negan and it's just it's just something's gonna happen and it's going to be this season, season 8, where there's going to be a big breaking point, And it's going to be something really interesting to see. So I'm really excited for it. Those are my opinions. Um, and I think that covers everything. I did, again, say a lot about just the characters getting ready for war. There's a lot of moments of war as well. So things are going to go down in season 8. And it's coming in October. So we still have a few more months to prepare. They might show a few more sneak peeks. We don't know. But... Uh, like I said, I, I am really excited for it. I mean, the trailer looked pretty awesome. So enough about that. We've done talking about it. Let me know what you guys all think about the new uh, Season 8 uh, Walking Dead trailer. I'd really love to know what you guys have to think about it in the comment sections. Because I'm going to try to do this more often. Now that we have The Walking Dead coming back, I'm going to try and commentate over my opinions of the episodes throughout The Walking Dead series that we're doing. I think that would be a really, really cool way uh, to kind of just enjoy the game as well and talk about the actual, uh, you know, Walking Dead AMC TV series, which is something I am a big fan of. Broken Glass Bottle. I think you can actually, like, melee this. Is it a melee? Yeah, damage. 15 damage? What? Oh, my gosh. Their ability is like a one hit, but 15 damage. We are going to test this out. I am very curious now. We're going to test it out on a walker. Someone in here? Okay, we're good. We're going to test it out on a walker for sure because that, that just made me very interested to see what the heck is with this 15 damage, 10 durability. So let's go ahead and test it. Is there another one there? No, watermelon slice. Actually, we might need to take that. We don't have much food on us right now. We got to loot out because I don't have a lot of stuff on me right now. Also, I really do appreciate all the support everyone's been leaving on The Walking Dead Return or The Craft and Dead Return. I got a lot of comments, a lot of great comments saying you guys are all happy to see the return of it. So I really do appreciate it. Thank you again for the support and if you guys have any ideas on who i should interact with or add to the series as well i have a few youtubers on board who are interested so uh stay tuned for that we will have some more youtubers on here so you guys can uh get ready for that hype that up and if you guys have any other youtubers you would like me to collab with please let me know as well and definitely go ahead and check out the crafting dead a lot of people were asking there's some new faces and some familiar faces as well how to get the crafting dead texture pack and all it is or not texture pack but that, get on the server all you have to do is just simply uh download the technic launcher and download the crafting dead and after that it is is quite simple there is not a lot of people right now that i see near the city that we're in right now i don't really see anyone and i'm gonna try to climb up and see what the, okay you know what we're, we're not gonna do this right now we're just not gonna try to parkour that um but yeah so so far again i like i said i really do appreciate the support and i'm gonna try my best oh my god these vending machines are all over the place these vending machines are what's gonna get me distracted like i, I said it before these vending machines are awesome, and I love them. So every time we see one, I'm going to try my best to uh, pick one up, most likely. Ooh, RBI bottle. We will certainly take that for sure. We're just following so much loot. And uh, there were actually a lot of people on Discord, the Craft and Dead Discord, which I am on. So if you guys would like to talk to me on the Craft and Dead Discord, you guys can do so as well. I'll be there uh, at certain times of the day, so you guys can go ahead and talk to me as well on there. But uh, a lot of you guys were also saying that the Dead Island map has been updated uh, slightly since the last time I was doing the videos on here. So that was really cool to see. 
And this, it seems like there's no more can openers. It just seems like all the food is open. And where is everyone? I know we got wrecked in the beginning, but let's be honest. I had a pistol and I had a bow, and it just looked like the Daryl kit wasn't doing us a great favor. So, um, yeah, so that's what's, what's going to happen. So I'm thinking for now, what we're going to theme the next few episodes of The Crafting Dead is we're going to try and do some challenges based off of what I saw in the Season 8 trailer of The Walking Dead. We're going to head over to the docks, it looks like. Oh, okay, yes, we have a, a zombie. I want to test this uh, broken glass on the zombie. So I'm pretty sure you can't throw it, but we, we're going to fight him with it. So let's get him down here, and let's test this out. And one hit. Ooh, okay. So another hit. Okay, so it's a two hit, and the durability is, it, honestly, surprisingly, it's still pretty durable. So um, it's actually quite a good melee weapon for emergencies. I'm pretty shocked about that. All right, so we're good. All right, not too bad. Definitely durability compared to a nightstick is not the same, but it's pretty decent um, compared to what I thought it would do. Hey, there we go. Let's get ourselves a cola pop and just throw that out. I don't think we can do anything with the glass bottles. Oh, 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 there's a person over there. And why is my aiming so off? Someone died over there. Some action right across there. There we go. There we go. Finally, we got a good kill. Uh, that was actually pretty good. Uh, do we have anything to heal up? Oh, my God. We do not. All right. We got to eat up, though. We need to eat up some food. All right. Let's use our glass bottle on these guys. Okay. Actually, broken glass bottle is doing a good job here. Is that someone over there? No. Okay. No one's around here. We got to heal up. See what this guy had. Deadpool, you had some decent stuff. Uh, oh, he had, like, the Rick Grimes kit. Is someone up there? Is that someone up there? Oh, this has no ammo. All right, let's get the heck out of here because we are too much in the open. Let's stay around here, jump back down, and try to regen. He had six rounds, or actually he had a good amount of rounds on that one. He has the 44 Magnum, which I do love that weapon. It is a cool weapon. So let's continue. I don't even think we have fully uh, revived yet. So we got to go clean up our rag. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can make rags as well. Um, but right now I'm just not too... Oh, oh there is someone up there. Oh boy, we just caused some trouble, and this is bad because it doesn't look like I'm doing so good on ammo. Yep, this is not good. We're out of ammo, and we just started a fight. <laughs> this is bad. I think I have an E-chest, though. I think I have my E-chest. E-chest? What do we got in here? What do we got in here? Oh, okay, that's what I'm talking about. That's canned food. Uh, clean rag. Oh, well, I think we're fine right now, but do we have anything? All right, we could probably get something from this backpack. Let's go ahead and see what we got. We just need some type of ammo. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, good. And let's get this RBI cure with us. Let's go again and take this off. Let's store this in our eat chest because we got some valuable stuff in there. Put the backpack back on and we should be good. Okay, let's reload. Let's see what we got over there. Let's see. Can we get that guy? Oh, headshot! What? We just sniped the person. Okay. Oh my gosh. They either have a base up there, but we're going to go and, and see what we got. I mean, we just got a lot of kills. Let's go ahead and check this out. I'm a little bit worried what to expect up here. Yup. There it is. There, I knew it. They had a safe spawn up there. Uh, okay, but you know what? I'll take that. That's a GG moment right there. Not too bad at all. We took out some people. Uh, that was actually quite action-packed. Not too bad. Okay, so let's go and do a, a spawn again slash R spawn. There we go. And are we really in the airport area again hopefully not uh but that was pretty good i'm gonna try to do more of those action-packed moments hopefully the thing is when you're going alone it is not easy because it does seem like they do have a set home over there which is kind of an issue because once you take them out oh my gosh this is the airport uh okay what are we gonna do when there's a guy right over there I'm just gonna go in here just kind of sit in here and we're gonna go quickly get a kit so let's get a kit slash kit uh let's go with uh geez assault again let's go with freelancer freelancer what do we got okay that's what i'm talking about not too good um did i hear someone i think we're okay right now let's go ahead and see where that guy was he had some really good loot so let's go ahead and go for this final attack i think he was around here Uh-oh, we got a, got a noob here. 
Hi. <laughs> We're just like, we'll just, uh, there we go. Sorry about that. Anything good that you have for us? Oh, okay. Um, I was not expecting that much stuff on her. Let's see, anything good? No ammo for there. Okay, we'll just stay on the lookout here. Let's reload that, make sure we're good with ammo. But there is a guy around here, and he's heavily armed. And knowing my skill set, we could get wrecked by him. So I'm going to just try and stay on the lookout here. Okay. Anyone going around here? I don't see anyone. All right, looks fairly okay right now. Oh, there's someone in there. You can see him. All right, let's go and take him out. He is right... Oh, there's another guy over there. Let's see. Oh, are they teaming? I'm going to hope this guy steps out of the place to go chase him. And then we can take him out. They are in there. There's two of them. There's two of them in there. Oh, snap. Okay, they know I'm out here. That's the thing. They know I'm out here. Oh, they're going to snipe me. They got a sniper rifle. This is bad. This is not good. And I don't have any ammo. Any more ammo, at least. All right, we're going to have to get another kit. Let's get kit assassin slash kit assassin. Oh, boy. We are now messing with the squad over there. Let's close this door. Let's, uh, oh, they, are they all M4-1s? Is there nothing better right now than this? Ah, oh, gee. Okay, we do have a scope. All right, we'll attach a scope to this. Oh, what the heck? No, no, bad, bad. You don't do that to me right now. Okay, you just gave away my game plan. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, they are in there. Roger that. They just moved into the second home right there. They have a better visual on me. I don't see one in there. I don't know if they went from the back. I know someone's in there. I know someone could be behind us. Okay, this is getting intense now. Let's make sure this has weapon ammo. Let's make sure that has ammo. Let's go ahead and make sure maybe this can get some ammo. No ammo on this. Okay, let's toss this out. Let's see, any ammo on this gun as well? No. Okay. Someone get out? I don't see anyone getting... Oh, someone to get out. Okay. They are still in there. Okay. What's the plan? I have no idea, but either one guy is like a... Fresh spawn. They seem pretty stacked up, though. They seem pretty stacked up. Looks like one is bleeding. Oh, one is injured in there, I think. I think we should go for the try guy. I think we should go ahead. But the thing is, if we go there, we're going to be in the open. This is going to be an interesting way to end off today's episode. So there's a guy in that place, and there's a guy in that place. Our issue is he can go out from the back right now. It looks like they're not at the window. So... Right now, I'm slightly worried that they're trying to make a plan... Okay, someone's coming down. All right, let's go take out that guy. I think there's only one way out. I mean, they could be behind me. Who knows? But there's just one game plan we could pull this off, and it's for him to walk out that front door. Okay, they st they're still inside. They have weapons. That guy just walked out. Or did he not? Where'd he go? I literally take my eye off him for one second, and he's completely gone. Okay, we're going to need we're gonna need to reload this. Um... Uh, let's put ourselves one of these. Oh, jeez. Is this guy dead? Okay. All right. All right. This is bad because we just dropped their weapon. No, and the scope. Oh, jeez. Good job, Alexon. Good job, Alexon. Okay, let's pop this on real quick. Um, is this the one with the ammo? No, it's not. Where's the one with the ammo? Someone's here. Wow, they came in with the full squad. Oh, GG. All right, I'll give him that. I couldn't do much about that. It's really difficult when it's two against one, especially in tight corners. But I respect them for that. I'll be back for more vengeance. I think today we did a d decent job. Uh, so if you guys want to see more, make sure you guys hit that like button. And don't forget to let me know anything down below about your opinions about The Walking Dead. Um, I really do want to see what you guys have to think about Season 8. Honestly, I'm pretty hyped for it. It's going to be different. But um, I think I think we're going to be in for some tears as well. I think there's going to be a big uh, turn of events because eight seasons is a lot. And we can't just have it repeating the same old, same old. So... 
yeah, expect something interesting. I'm really hyped, and uh, hopefully you guys are as hyped as well for the Craft and Dead. Congratulations as well to Humble Heron for the Raider rank. Possibly in the future, I might do a few other giveaway for some ranks, so if you guys want to stay tuned for that, make sure you guys are part of Notification Squad as well, so you never miss out on a Crafting Dead video or any other video I upload. And yeah, guys, make sure you guys check out the description down below, and if you made it to this far out, make sure you guys type in the comment sections, hashtag what? Walking Dead Season 8. That way I know you guys made it up to this point. If you guys did, you guys are GG members of the Foxy Nation. Thanks again for watching. My name is Alexin. Peace out and stay foxy.